This is our military prototype, Galvatron. I don't understand it. This is the fifth iteration. Why does it keep turning out like this? It's just some bugs in the final render. I modeled Galvatron after Optimus Prime. Why does he keep looking like Megatron? Welcome, everybody. This is my first review. This is Unique Toys Galvatron. Uh, just a little background on myself. I usually don't get into movie bots uh, from Transformers the movies. Um, this one was an exception along with two others that I did buy. Um, and they all were made by Unique Toys, except for except for one, um, which was the one involving Optimus Prime and the Legendary Toys version 02. Um, and it's a knockoff from another version I cannot think of right now. But this is my first look of Unique Toys Galvatron. I've really messed with this. I've had this on my shelf for maybe a month or two. Um, and I just brought it out. Um, I bought it because I figured I better get it while the, before the prices go up. And it's just a beautiful looking figure um, from the pictures and even more so when you bring it into your own home and into your own light. If you can just see this if you ever get one into your possession, you'll see that this figure is magnificently done. Um, it's amazing with our engineering these days um, that we can come up with things we wish we had when we were young. <laughs> of course, we wouldn't have the patience for them like we do now. So I guess it's better that, um, you know, we have them at this age where we can enjoy them, appreciate them, not beat them up, um, store them on our shelves. So this is the first look um, I have for Galvatron Unique Toys. Um, Unique Toys makes some great stuff. Um, uh, I have another one that I, I really am fond of from Unique Toys. It's my Unique Toy Springer. I can bring them out here. A lot of people didn't like this Unique Toy Springer because it's Fisher Pricey or it's just too bulky or too fat or however they um, thought about it. But to me, it's the best representation in all modes of the Springer that I knew from the cartoon. And it's just, I got it all decoded up, decoded up, I mean, um, with um, stickers and stuff I got from Toy Hacks. But this, to me, is a great, one of the great first offerings from um, Unique Toys. And we'll go further in the next segment dealing with um, the field. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on the feel of the figure. Uh, that's something only the person, I, you know, the hand of the beholder. Um, but I wanted to have a segment on feel. A feel is very important to me when I buy a figure. Um, I, I look at videos, I watch stuff, and I say, okay, this figure looks like it's made die cast maybe you know has a good quantity of die cast well made plastic um i'm not going to use a lot of technical terms in my reviews unless they just come to mind but i always want to figure like fans toys figures that are very well built therefore their feel is going to be excellent this feel and i have a rating scales at the end of my video that i put Every segment that I have, I'll put a rating on there. And this feel is as good as it gets to me. Um, this <laughs> figure all the way around, I'm not even into the articulation yet, but it's just all the way around, you know, even with this zippity doodah poses and stuff, feels feels premium. It feels, it feels good. It feels like a well... Um, put together figure, well-built figure, and that's a high must for me. I can forgive a lot of things if I if the look and feel of a figure is, is excellent. I can forgive the transformation, which we have not got to that yet. I, I got a mechanic segment coming up, but I can forgive a lot of sin 
when it comes to a well-built, well-feeling figure. So when it comes to the mechanics, uh, to the maneuverability, and then maybe we'll talk quick. I might even decide to even transform this guy a little bit. I think there's plenty of reviews that are gonna be just as good um, out there that are already out there that can tell you how to transform them or show you how to transform them. But I just wanna just do the general aspects of the mechanics of this figure. When I, when I manipulate and move around the joints, um, very tight joints, the, the <laughs> I have a lot of, masterpiece transformers that's generally what i buy g1 um these these ones with the movie versions that including galvatron and optimus prime which i'll probably show here shortly to compare um uh, how the, it moves uh, how it sounds um this is a super tight masterpiece figure this figure is um even oddly jointed um in the legs um you don't really get a straight kick out See how it moves in um, when you kick, when you push this leg up. Um, it has, a, you know, the normal tight <laughs> um, leg, knee bends. But when you go to maneuver the hip, the top hip around, you got to be careful because you got, you got ratcheted joints, very heavy ratchets, and you don't want to just jerk and push. Maybe that doesn't really hurt it so bad, but you want to re realize and understand how this thing moves. It moves on this inner joint a little adjacent to the body. It's an odd, it's not like, if I can explain it in a better way, if I get this back out, it's not like normal figures, I would say normal figures that you buy that, like this one here is another unique toys product, um, this Optimus Prime. Um, this one, you know, the legs come straight out, you know, not really ratcheted, but that's not the point I'm trying to make here. Uh, the knees ratcheted there, but the point I'm making here is that those are the normal way you expect arm, leg, knee joints to move in and out, up and down. That doesn't work that, that same way on this one. Uh, this one, be aware, if you buy the figure, it's a great figure. Um, it's a it's well it's heavy it's it feels this figure feels way better than this figure this figure is much lighter um, it, it doesn't this figure though well built is solid this one's more solid so we talk about mechanics um, know what you're getting into know what you're buying and there's nothing wrong with these joints being a little bit um, you know different on any figure you buy, because this is a hefty fellow right here. This is one of the heftiest fellows you probably have in your collection other than the bigger bots, Unicron, uh, whoever you, whatever Transformers you're interested in. Uh, this guy is uniquely um, ratcheted. So just be aware of that when you buy that. To figure how it transforms. Um, this one's unique because what I remember from the movie uh, this, you can't go by the guides and, you know, the, the re other reviews when it comes to that. Take a look at the movie and how this guy transformed. So in the movie, it transformed, it kind of broke apart this new technology uh, taken from fallen Autobots and the head of Megatron feeding um, information into these techies, computers, when they're trying to steal Autobot technology and this new, the, the metal transformium. And they make um, a new, you know, Galvatron and new uh, Decepticons through that. And their, their their transformations were just bits and particles coming, you know, re, you know, coming, breaking apart, coming back together again. Um, it's nice that they were actually able to make a figure with this build, with this look that's that's just spot on, and able to make it transform in a natural way like the other transformers. <laughs> Okay, whew, I had to take a break. I took a few hours break, actually. 
Um, I did the transformation, as you've seen, stop motion. Um, and there's a few things to talk about. <laughs> as you can see with this figure, um, it's not fully transformed. I got it most of the way done. There's just some things I probably can work with and do better with, look at some reviews or just finish it up myself. Um, it, it wasn't the easiest transformation. A lot of panels here to unfold from his back, his torso area. Um, some things fell off um, during transformation. You might as well just leave them off until you put either floor polish or some kind of glue on them to keep them in place. These headlights, uh, plastic panels. Um, it is a, like I said, it's still a unique, it's a beautiful figure. But... You know, right even down here, I was, I'll put a pickup on the screen. It'll be somewhere on the screen um, where when you put, when you bend the legs back and you, you split them and pull them back behind the body, um, you have to clip them together um, in these places. And even the pick will show it better. Um, and that is something I can't see multiple transformations being kind to. Um, you have to kind of push it up and push it into place right there and, ooh, not kind. Um, good parts to it, you know, you know when you, when you see the transformation, you see a lot of the die cast and the, the integration there um, inside the body part, you know. I guess going back and forth, you would see the same thing. Rolls good, you know, looks good. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great looking figure. Um, but transformation... Uh, I have to, I, I mentioned earlier that there'll be a school card at the end. Um, I'll make it quick. I, I, I didn't want my first video, my first review to be too long. And sorry, probably longer than I really meant it to be. But you can't just skip through everything. It's something like, If you decide to talk about something, sometimes you go a little further than you ever expect to go. But, um, I, you know, I like to keep all my reviews and future reviews at, at a limited time. You know, people don't want to sit there and watch things for 20 minutes, you know, most of the time. You're lucky to get 10 minutes out of them and this might be a little over that but um you know still proud of the decision i made not a transformation i want to do often so that will reflect on the scorecard um and you'll see the scorecard of what i how i score it how i rate it it may change in the future but that's something i uh, just decided to do firsthand so yep yeah, this is this will conclude uh, my re review on mechanics um not not the easiest transformation. Um, but thank you for joining and whoops, one more thing. Haha, <laughs> my first review. Um, you always gotta miss something. You're gonna make a mistake on something, but not a mistake. Just forgot to mention price. That was my fourth and final category. I started with um, look, the feel, the mechanics, and the price. Um, that would be mentioned on the scorecard as well, real quick. Yes, I probably paid around $160 to $170 for it. I can't remember. I probably got it from the Show Z um, store. So, um, as far as price for this figure, compared to other Masterpiece figures, I'm just going to throw it into the you know, G1 line Masterpiece figure as well. You know, all of them are made with, you know, this is by Unique Toys. All of them are made with good quality materials and ones we buy that we considered made with good quality materials. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that in there as um, on the scorecard. It it is show you what I feel about the price that I paid for it um, comparably. I think overall it's a great figure, and um, I think for the transformation part would make me feel like that's a little, a little bit pricey, you know, on how that made me what I went through to get to that point. You you, you put it together with the legs, and you still gotta. It's gonna come and done. It's gonna come and done again, uh, and and you got to panel. I mean, you really got to panel out that chest and that those arms. It, it's like I said, not easy. Um, that would be the only thing to me. And this is my personal view. This is how I'm reflecting price, and that would bring the price to me uh, a little frustrating. Um, 160, 170 dollars for frustration, mm -hmm. but for the rest of it, comparably to other masterpieces that I consider good, you know, fans toys, Mortal Master. Um, some of the aerial bots from fans toy, any fans toy figure. I mean, comparably, not bad. So that will reflect on the scorecard as well. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time.